So just a quick video here to compare two of the camp tables that I have. Camp table is pretty useful when you're out camping. Uh, we use it for our kitchen and uh, I've got the two different ones. I did switch here uh, a couple of months ago to the new one and I kind of talk about why and from my perspective what table works best. But there's a lot of tables out there to choose from so uh, this is just a few data points to, to show you what I found. So one of my subscribers asked about the table that uh, I carry with me to go camping. So I wanted to talk a little bit about the rack which enables us to take the table. So I got the Rebel Off-Road Explorer rack. One of the things I like about it is it's, it's actually full length of the bed. It comes almost up to the cab, which a lot of them don't. It comes to the very back, which is nice. But one of the super nice features about it is it has this mounting infrastructure for the table. So you can see the pins there that hold the table in place and the table is, is very secure. Let me get up here and show you. So it doesn't rattle around at all. So this is the second table. I've got another table that I had been using, but uh, we swapped over to this one and I'll talk a little bit about why. Both of them are nice tables, but this particular one works better. So it's a one piece table. So as I said, it's a one piece top, so it doesn't fold in half. The other one that I've got folds in half, which created some issues. Another nice thing about this is that the legs, when they secure up underneath, they actually go into those plastic slots. This one goes into that plastic slot and it holds the legs up securely so that when you're traveling, the legs don't hang down underneath the, uh, the mount. With the other table, the legs aren't secure, and I kept having to tie them with a piece of uh, string to stop them from uh, sagging downward. This is nice. The, the legs are stationary. They don't adjust, but it's a good height, and without the breakover in the middle, it's a very secure table. It works out really, really well. So this is the other table that we've got. The legs are adjustable, and it folds in the middle. Folding in the middle actually is nice. I can actually fold it up and then I can place it in the floor of the, the bed of the truck and then I can put all my other stuff on top of it. But because it breaks in the center, it doesn't quite level. There's a little bit of a bulge. I don't know if you can really see that. Depending on how it sits on the ground, sometimes it's worse than other times. Another unique thing about this particular table is that the legs adjust so I can choose different heights. See the slots here. Now it's not infinite because it has to be in one of these slots, but it gives you a little adjustability. So if you're on a hill, then you could take one side and make it shorter and the other side longer and still have it roughly level. Now we've only done that once we were out at Roush Creek and we actually it, midway through Crawl Daddy, we actually set the thing up on a, on the hill and we had lunch. The only time we ever used it that way, but it does work. But it's a little more flimsy. Like I said, the, the legs, when they're collapsed up, they don't stay steady. So there's nothing to, to latch them with. And uh, it's also because it breaks in half, it has this knob here that releases the mechanism, which sticks down and kind of obstructs the thing from going in, the table from going into the rack. Uh, you can actually push the knob, shove it up in there, and it goes in there fine. And I've had it on there for probably thousands of miles worth of travel. But uh, we decided to go with this one. As you can tell, it's a little bit shorter, and it's a fixed height. But it works out really, really well. Now, right now, we've been bringing both out because we... Uh, have have more kitchen space available. We have a lot of stuff that we bring with us, but those are the two tables. I would I would definitely recommend some type of a an option for your rack to mount your uh, your table up above because that makes it really nice to take along. Uh, it's very secure. It's up out of the way. It actually protects a little bit from the rain coming down onto stuff. Sheds a little bit of the water off, so it's a fantastic option. 
but uh, really whatever table you think best meets your needs. For me, the more basic table over here, the legs are more secure. It, it's a little bit more steady because it doesn't break in the middle and it works out really well for us, but I really do like both tables. It's it's really your personal preference, what you prefer when you, uh, when you camp out. For me, right now, for this type of camping, both of these tables are gonna come with us, and we really enjoy having both. So th those are some of my quick thoughts on these two tables and how they work out with camping, how to carry them, uh, some of the pros and cons of each style. Uh, that's not a, a complete representation of all the different tables out there, obviously, but you know, maybe if some of you are looking at those tables, like one of my subscribers that asked me about them, uh, this will be helpful to you. Uh, if you have any comments, leave them down below. Do all the YouTube stuff, you know, like, subscribe, all that good happy stuff, and we'll see you next time.